Hola amigos, my friends. My name is Miss Judy and I'm a teacher at the Grady Valley YMCA. Today we're going to be learning about beads. Okay, we're going to read a story first and then we're going to do a cool math game afterwards. Okay, so the name of the book that we're reading today is called Busy Buzzers, Bees in Your Backyard. The book is written by Nancy Lowen and illustrated by Brandon Reibling. A Flower's Friend. Don't you just love flowers? They're so bright and pretty and smell so good. But wait, don't stick your nose too close to that one. There's a honeybee on it. You don't have to be scared though. It won't sting you as long as you don't bother it. Why do you think there are so many bees here in the flower garden? It's because flowers aren't just pretty to a bee. They're lunch. Bees eat ne drink nectar, which is a sweet liquid found in flowers. As they eat, bees do something good for the plants too. If you look closely, you'll see that it's, this bee's legs are covered with a yellowish powder. The powder, called pollen, comes from inside the flowers. So as you guys can see, right in the bee's legs, it's these little yellow circles called pollen. As bees fly about, they spread pollen from one flower to another that helps the plants make seeds. Hives and honey. Look, there's a beehive inside that old tree stump. The bees made the hive out of wax from their bodies. They filled the hive with thousands of tiny rooms called cells. As many as 50,000 bees could be living inside the hive. All the bees worked together as a team or colony. The main job of honeybee colony is, you guessed it, to make honey. The bees' bodies turn nectar into honey. Then the bees store the honey in the cells of the hive. The honey is food for all the bees in the colony. The queen bee. In a beehive, every bee has an important job to do. The queen bee lays the eggs. She doesn't have time to do anything else. In the summer, she lays up between 1,200 and 2,000 eggs every day. Male bees called drones mate with the queen as they fly high in the air. After mating, the males die. Busy bees. The worker bees, which are all female, do everything else. They feed the queen and take care of the young. They look for flowers and bring nectar and pollen back to the hive. They clean the hive and build new cells. Dancing bees. Bees have a great way of talking to one another by dancing. If a bee finds a lot of tasty flowers, it goes back to the hive and flies in the shape of an eight. This is called a waggle dance. From that dance, the other bees can tell where the flowers are, how far away they are, and even how good they are. Summer sounds. Buzz. Shh. Close your eyes. Do you hear a quiet buzzing sound? Bees buzz like that by making their wings shiver. They're trying to loosen grains of pollen in the flowers. Doesn't it sound like summer? The end. I hope you enjoyed that story about bees and learned some facts about bees also. So as Miss Judy uh, mentioned in the beginning of the video, we're going to be playing a math game now. Okay, so if you guys remember in this story, pollen gets stuck on the little bee's legs. Okay, and that's a way that the bees help us. They, uh, the pollen, as they're flying away, uh, spreads among the other flowers, helping them grow, okay? So our math game today is going to be, um, we're going to spread pollen, okay? To play this game, we're going to need an empty egg crate or cotton, um, some little yellow pom-poms, 
a tweezer, and a dice. Okay? I have one, two, three, four, five, a six little yellow pom-poms. And we're going to pretend these are pollen that's stuck on a bee's leg. Okay? We're going to roll the dice. And whichever number the dice rolls on, we're going to move that amount of pollen to the other side of the egg crate. Okay? Here we go. Six. So we're going to move all six pollens to the other side of the crate. But the way we're going to do that, I'm not going to use my fingers. I'm going to use my tweezer. Okay, so here we go. We're going to grab the pom-pom or the pollen, put it on the other side of the crate, and drop it. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, now let's roll the dice to see how many pollen are we going to move to the other side of the crate. Two. We're going to move two over. Here we go. One, two, okay, let's do it one more time. How many times, or how many pounds are we going to move over to the other side of the crate? Let's see. Number five. Okay, so let's put these back. Okay, number five. So we're going to move five pollen over to the other side. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, friends, I hope you enjoyed our story about bees. And I hope you learned some facts about bees. And I hope you also enjoyed our little quick math game about pollen. Um, hope you guys are doing well. Bye-bye. Adios.